What's up guys, BTBS here, welcome back to another episode of FTL, this is the Captain's Edition. Uh, there has been an update, uh, several updates to Captain's Edition since I last made a video. Um, uh, what, what version is it now? Let me just flick through some folders now. Captain's Edition is now in version 1.02. So, um, a lot of bugs have been fixed, and you no longer need Drones Plus to run it on its own. So, I, um, I got a request to play a slug ship. Um, we'll go with the Man of War, but this is going to be extremely hard to play. So, we'll put you in the weapons, I think, and... We're going to want the dual laser, definitely. Uh, I have no idea what else to run. So hopefully we'll get something good. Uh, some good weapon early on. Oh, that's not good. But then we're definitely going to want the breach bomb for this. And we're just going to want to focus on taking out their weapons. Oof. And breach bomb on their shields. Oh wow! If what happened did 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 I just honestly see that? I think their missile hit a rock, like an asteroid. Get that breach bomb in there. Fuck you, Mantis. And we'll get that in there. Oh, I've got to turn auto fire on. Trying to escape? Well, that just won't do. Oh, okay. We've already dealt with that. Brilliant. I'm gonna turn the sounds up just a little bit. That's better. I like to be able to hear it myself, and I think um, generally, if I can only just hear it, you guys literally can't hear it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say jump. Uh, I kind of want money for the store, but then again, I've got the bio beam. Oh, that's a bio beam Mark II. That means they must have added. Uh, seize their target. We're a Mantis ship, apparently. What? That one, they, they did just say we're a Mantis ship, didn't it? Uh, bollocks, get the breach bomb going. We're gonna breach the shields. Do loads of the weapons. Just to get some good damage off on them. You can go and fix the doors. And, uh, you know, I kind of don't want to use any more breaches. So, I'm just gonna shoot them in the shields. I do really like the breach bomb bio beam tactic. Like as a thing that works well. Two power beam weapon that greatly damages enemy crew. Well, if only we could see it damaging them. Oh, they're trying to FTL away. Damn you, you had to resist. That would have just killed you straight out. You would have been dead. Right. There we go. Now you did. That was an asteroid miner. Uh, yeah, apparently we command of a Mantis ship. Hmm. That's just a way of making your crew say that they don't mind you being a pirate, basically. And uh, it comes in kind of useful. Uh, attack the slaver scum. Damn fucking straight. We are actually going to try and kill their crew. So, no more bio beam. And we're going to knock down that. The breach uh, originally... Ugh. No, we're gonna. We're just gonna go for pure damage and crew killings. So we're gonna breach that. By the way, these missiles right here from this, um, I think this is called an Ifrit. Uh, it's actually special, and those missiles actually. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Balls, tits. What's the word I'm looking for? Those missiles actually. Um, can't be shot down. They can't be shot down by a normal defense drone. It takes a special defense drone to do it. Hit those two. No, we haven't killed them yet. Damn it. We'll fire the dual lasers in there again. Fuck it, accept the offer. We got a humming. Better than nothing. Honestly, it's really not. <laughs> well, I don't know. When you've got two crew members and they're slugs, slugs are only marginally better than Hummins to start with. So, you know, I wouldn't have minded something else, anything else, honestly. 
Like, you really can't get worse than a humming. But we're going to put the humming in there. Uh, Beth, you were the pilot, so you can go on shields. Actually, no, you were the pilot, so you can go on engines. Give us a little bit more dodge chance, because we're going to need that. And there, then the store, then away, yeah. Good thing about the slug ship is you don't mind jumping into Nebula with it. Offer to remove their crew. I'll agree to capture the ship. Nice and nicely. Oh, we're never going to get to that. Because we're going to go like that. And then... Uh, the, the only way of me getting there is... I don't know, I could Nebula jump. One, and then get a couple of jumps in there. And get up. I don't know. Let's go to this store. And see what's what. Because if they have something good... Um, I'm not going to bother buying any... Uh, rations or anything. Drone control. So we do have slug repair gel, which is nice. Let's have a look at this. Nine seconds, high breach chance, which basically means guaranteed. And we do have dual lasers. I love dual lasers. And this does four personnel damage, whereas this does two personnel damage. Hmm. There is an auto laser in there. They've got sensors. You know, sensors honestly wouldn't be the worst thing. If we can see what crew they've got, we can know how quickly we can kill them. And maybe a couple of missiles, and then a fuel. Oh, we're on fire! That's another thing sensors is going to be useful for. What the hell? Just, okay, yeah, we're on fire. Let's, let's just go with that. Yay! Fire! I'm actually just going to do the thing I do, and I'm going to vent those rooms. And is there any more doors to the outside? No. Right. Well, I'm going to vent these rooms, just because if someone teleports in there, they're prevented. If they get set on fire, they're prevented. If the rooms next to them need uh, oxygen vented, these are prevented, so it will move on to those faster. And we're going to make as many nebula jumps as we can. Uh, I think jumping down is just sort of pointless, though. We can jump straight there, or we can nebula jump, and then jump straight there. Uh, we're going to jump straight there, and then we're going to jump around the nebula, try and get up to the quest, and remove their crew. Attack the pirate! Ooh! You sneaky bastards! They've got a bomb and a single shot laser. I'm really not worried, honestly. Okay, that is just a prick move. Right, we're going to wait for the... Um, the automatic thing to do that, the slug repair gel. And I'm also just going to get them slugs in there now, because it's almost done, and we need to fix the oxygen, and obviously the room's going to be without oxygen, which is going to be a bit of a bitch. You two, get out. Fix up quickly. Right, all we need to do is fire the dual lasers, and then I can B.O. beam them. Like, meow! Ah! Oh. Next time we're going to fire the lasers onto their shield. Beth, your engines. Robin, you're in there. You motherfuckers! Did you see the way they did that? That was snooper. Snooper snoop. Snooper snooper sneaky? That was super fucking sneaky! Right, hit those two. Yes! Kill the crew! Burn down the crew! Oh, I wonder what the bio beam actually does. Like, what do the crew feel when they get hit by it? If anything at all. Hopefully the answer is not much. Because I can't imagine it feeling too nice. Being, like, incinerated. Shit, fuck the bio beam, we need the breach and the duel going. And we need everybody on their game. Everybody be on your fucking game. We cannot afford to get hit. Like that. So we're going to breach that shield just to damage it. And then we're going to try and shoot the weapons. Right. Now that's down, that's not too big a problem. Uh, that, that's only the ion left. I did not mean to breach again. Fuck. I've got them in the wrong place, that's why. The dual laser should be there. Oh, and of course, their titanium systems casing is like a godsend. Literally, it comes from the gods of the automated scouts. 
See what I fucking mean? Ugh. Come on, dual laser. I am so angry right now. Yeah, didn't defend against those fucking three in a row, did ya? That's the thing that really pisses me off. They have titanium systems casing, but unless they have like ten of it, they should never block like three times in a row. That should be a statistical, statistical impossibility. Sorry, it's quite early, so I'm a bit flustered. Let's get those two running again. Oh, there's a store. I kind of want to do the quest though and burn down their crew. You know what, I'm going to make as many jumps as I can. Just because that's honestly the better alternative. We've been boarded! Woo! Well, they can suffer in the low oxygenated environment for a while. While they try and break into here. And that door closes, and then it's just a human versus a human. And we might as well be just bring the slugs in to help, because we're slugs. We don't fight fair. Hence, ditching out to just jump in the med bay quickly. <laughs> but there's some terrible background noise there. I'm sorry if you guys can hear that. It appears one of my neighbours is very, like, with malice of forethought, just doing fucking building in his back garden. Alright, Beth, get your ass back in the engine. Good fight, guys. Good fight. I feel I must uh, reinforce that. That was a pretty damn good fight. We didn't lose anybody. We came close because I wasn't paying attention. Oh, of course it's an AI ship. The thing that really pisses me off about AI ships is I kind of have to use my breach bomb. Otherwise, I'm going to take a lot of damage. Most probably more damage than what the... Uh... Oh, I missed! And I missed again. Fantastic. Absolutely bloody brilliant. Right, fuck your shields, seriously. Having this extra layer of shields makes you a cunt. Oh, there we go, damage. And, ooh, it missed, good. Right, now that's down, I really don't have to worry about anything and I can just use the uh, dual lasers. I'm not overly keen about using just the dual lasers to finish the fight, but the breach bomb doesn't do actual damage. Ah, God, sorry about that. That would be... Um, my phone going off. I told you it was loud. It's my Negro Amigo calling me. I'm uh, just going to end this fight. Come on, die you bastard, die! Suck my lasers! I said suck my lasers, you took them right in the mandibles. Those auto scouts do look kind of crab-like. I reckon one, two, three, and they jump to one... Two, three. I don't have time to jump to the store. But then again, I kind of don't need to. I'm okay with how my ship is right now. Oh. This is not good. Because they have a missile. That looks like a good damage missile as well. Oh, wow. And apparently... My breach bomb only does one damage to their shield, so it's not even worth firing it. And they're just going to slowly whittle my health down. Right, take them weapons out. Fuck, it fired again, and it didn't go down. And there go the shields. Right, fuck your fucking missile, you bastards. Seriously, fuck it. They've got one crew member left. So, I really should just... Why is this... Do they not have shields? Did they only have an... Uh, an, uh, an exalt and green shield? I was like Artemis, Ion shield. Nope. My brain was just... Sort of not telling me what... Uh, it actually was, but just telling me I was wrong. I am totally going to kill this one crew member they have left. Oh, bless babes. Unlucky, you poor Zoltans. Well, 
I say pause Altons, you deserve it because you attacked me. Yeah, there we go. You always get more, remember, just remember, you always get more scrap if you kill off all the crew. So burning down the crew is probably the best option if you can. Right, kill the crew without destroying the ship. I can do that. I can do that very much so. Not enough power. Uh, dual lasers probably going to be a better idea for this because I just need to get a shot off on the shields. Although I kind of need to hit the weapons as well. That's alright. First dual laser in the shields. Their mini beam's going to be a bit painful though. Oh! 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 I'm an Italian guy. Oh! Quick, stop burning down the crew. Right, ignore that. You need to fix the fire in there. Also, I need to move that so I'm in the right position, yeah. So where are you going? You're running into the weapons room, are you? Well, you're clearly not going to bother fixing the shields. Oh, there's a fire in the weapons room. Because I'm the, the crew are burning down without my assistance. Ooh, hole beam. That's the actual laser one, yeah? Uh, two power, 14 seconds, one damage per room. Hits a, probably a good few rooms. I think the whole beam, whole beam Mark II, I must say. I don't think I've ever seen that. Uh, that's probably added by this game. Let's have a look at how long it is. Damn it, we can't. I thought we might be able to dupe the game and just be like, how long is the hull beam? And the game would be like, it can hit nine rooms. Come on, Gail, get in there, heal up. Beth, Robin, back to your stations. We do have 99 scrap, which means we can get another level of shields, which will be very useful, actually. And if we don't jump to the exit now, we're going to have to fight Robbles. And if you remember my first uh, couple of episodes of this, Robbles are extremely dangerous. Seize their fucking cargo, because we are a Mantis ship. Let's have a look how long this whole beam is. Not bad. Not bad at all. But they are trying to piece it. So we are going to need to drop some uh, attacks in. Wow, they've got a very strange ship layout. Just noticed that. They've got a five second charging missile. I fucking hate that thing. It is the dirtiest move. Five second charge missile. It's just disgusting. It's just like, no. Now they can't go anywhere. Now they can't heal. Uh, I think swap that out for the bio beam. Get the good, good old bio beam running. And we've got two shields as well, so we don't really need to worry about that. And yeah, resist as much damage as possible. Because I want to burn down your crew, not your ship. I know. They're really trying to fix them engines. Right now, they're going to go. Okay, so I reckon I can take these two. Yes! And then this guy's the only one that's left, and he's never going to be able to fix everything on his own. Especially since I think I hear fire. And the bio beam can just wipe him out. Yes! We command a Mantis vessel! Apparently. I think that's probably just a glitch, and it's supposed to say, like, you command a slug vessel, you are the sneakiest motherfuckers in the galaxy. You will poison people by getting on their ship. But, uh, yeah, anyway. We, uh... Right, sorry about that, guys. I just had to, uh, check the recording time. So, oh, yes, nebula beacons. I love me some nebula beacons. When I'm playing the slugs, anyway. Attempt to follow them. Yeah, we can fight. They appear to have two drones. Uh, they've got a med bay, so I need to drop that. I need to get that going. They've got a double shot missile. So, weapons are a priority. We took it down, but they hit. They both hit. In fact, yeah, this is a serious fire going on. So we're going to breach their shield room. We're taking some serious damage, lads. We're also going to breach their med bay. And then shoot their drones. 
So let's see, you get back over there. Go on, get back over there. And Robin, get back in the weapons. Yeah, they just... Their weapons are back up. Fuck. I, we're not going to be able to actually... Um, I don't think that's... That's got to be a person there. Just because of how fast it moved. Three missiles... Uh, four missiles, three scrap, fifteen. I really cannot read. Three fuel, four missiles, fifteen scrap. I need the missiles, so yes. Fucking brain. Seriously, brain, what the hell is wrong with you? Uh, drop a breach there, and then I'm going to have to dual laser on there. That's probably a ten second charge. Oh, and it missed. That was perfect. It was literally as good as it could have gone right there. It was then missing with that shot. Oh, why did I do that? I meant to attack that. But amazingly, we didn't get... Oh, no, their FTL's charging. Fuck. Bollocks. I'm going to shoot their missiles. And I'm going to shoot their pilot room. I'm going to shoot their engines. Because I can never hit the pilot room. The pilot room is apparently... Jump imminent, fuck. Yes. No! Fuck! They got away! You bastards! You fucking tricked me! Oh, damn it. Get back in there. I'm trying to work out where the, like, the thrusters on the slug ship are. Because on other ships, it's really clear. Like, the, um... The Kestrel has the big thrusters just coming out the back of the fucking ship. Come on, Robin, back in weapons. Come on, Beth, back in engines. A store. Oh, sweet, glorious salvation, a store. We can sell the whole beam, we can fix up. Uh, you know... Um, what's the whole beam two power? You know what, fuck, I'm selling the anti-bio beam, screw that thing. And I might just buy a Hummin as well. No, you know what I want to do? I want to upgrade my weapons. So that I can get all three of my weapons running at once. Then, I can actually start destroying ships. But, now the problem is, I don't have enough to repair much at all. So, I'm going to have to jump around and try and get as much scrap as possible. Which is kind of a stupid thing to say, because that's kind of always what you're doing in this game. A taxi slaver scum. Uh, that would be either the crew damage or the hull damage, but really it's not a problem. Oh wow, yeah, this thing's got a bit of range on it as well. I can easily cut through uh, four rooms. Oh, and they want to give up already. Yes, I want your s slave. A human. A fucking human. Seriously? Also, this is totally like slug on slug violence. Oh, that was a gas miner ship. Interesting. I, I, I don't look at certain things until after the battle, and then I just notice like a hundred things and have to talk about them all. Um, we need supplies. No, I kind of. You know what? They can't damage me. They have a drone. Okay. Uh, dual lasers. I'm gonna attack the shields. Shields. That there uh, is actually very, like, aesthetically correct. Because it says this ship is a uh, asteroid miner. And that is actually the scythe beam, which is an asteroid mining beam. And I know that because I've had it, and it's terrible. It's about twice as long as the pike beam. And it takes about nine hours to fire. The hull beam, on the other hand, I very much do like the hull beam. That thing's working out perfectly for me. Can I jump back to the store and then anywhere else? No, it would be a redundant jump. So, fuck it, I'm not doing it. I'm going to jump around. Oh, that's not good, that's not good. That is so, so, so not good. That's a, he a heavy ass missile drone. Two damage missile drone. 
Oh, fuck off in your evasion! That is bullshit! If I die because of this missile drone, I'm not going to be happy. Hold beam, hold beam. Whew! Right, it only got one missile off on us. But you can see what I mean about whole, about missile drones being super dangerous! Look at this, that fucking thing! A two damage missile! And, I'll have you know, that doesn't cost missiles from your reserve. Those drones have their own missile reserves, and it does not cost you anything to actually fire them apart from a drone part. Which is just overpowered. Explore the asteroid field. I really shouldn't have done that, because I could have died right there. Simply through bad luck, it could have been like, oh, you take five damage. Uh, attacking our engines, are ye? Right, well, we're going to breach your missiles. Damn it, didn't take the missile down. And I got hit right in the weapons, but it's okay, because the whole beam is active. You motherfuckers! Alright, dual lasers, straight in them shields. Yeah, bitch! What you can do now? Probably try and fix them, I guess. Too bad! You know, I'm very much liking the whole beam. That thing is uh, effective as a weapon of murder. As opposed to a weapon of friendship. So, uh, we will never surrender our crew to slavers. That is another one of those ones that doesn't damage shields. Uh, dual laser. So yeah, that I think is a crew damager. But can't penetrate shield. If you can fire it, it's very powerful. Uh, no, whole beam. So one, two, three, four, five. And they'll give up. And I'll accept their offer of rock. Awesome. So we have a guy on our ship who can be... Like, he can wander around and repair. Or he can just be for when we get boarded, which is inevitable. It's always good to have extra crew. Oh! See what I mean about getting boarded? Get that human out of there quickly. Just so we can get more people in there and he doesn't take shitloads of damage. And, of course, the rock is the last one in the room, so he just sort of uh, attacks everybody. Who's that? Who's that? that? That is you. Why are you taking so much damage? So, yeah, I was just using the um, pre-programmed tactics there to move people around. So, uh, the rock was already in the room, but I didn't want him to be. Uh, that person who was under attack. So I moved him out of the room quickly, like that, and then put him back, and it moves him into the next available space. Oh man, I'm so used to playing the mod ships where everything, just every single ship in the game, seems to have a four person med bay for some reason. Oh, I know why. It's because that is fucking useful. Anders, you are my. Uh, was that shields? Yeah, you are my shields guy. You just have very little shield experience. Uh, Gale, you need healing as well. Come on over, Gale. Right, there we go. Drop you in there. I'm going to jump around a little bit more, because I'm not really taking damage. I'm doing well. Aid the civilian ship. Mantis, bomb, auto laser. I'm really not in any trouble at all. In fact, I'm in so much not trouble that um, I'm basically just going to hang around. Drop that there. And this can hit four rooms. And just scare the shit out of them, basically. Oh! God, I got a sore back. You know what I'd love is a uh, burst laser Mark II. Because uh, that takes roughly the same amount of time as the, the hull beam to charge. That'd be brilliant. Uh, oh, lots of scrap. So, uh, oh, sorry about that. Ugh. I could possibly get more shields, but what I want is more engines and, uh, in fact, more engines. No, I need to save money for healing. So I'm going to jump here. Another level of engines and better sensors. Going to come in handy. Self five missiles, 15 scrap, ignore, power up the weapons and engage. I see a missile and a single ion. Oh, it's a double ion. Okay. 
not the worst thing ever. Oh, and they teleported as well. A rock and a hummer. What an odd choice. I'm going to send a rock and a slugger over to you. So I'm going to want to fire the breach at their shields. And I'm then going to wait. Ooh, not nice. Breach hit. Dual lasers on the weapons. And then... Um, the whole beam to do 8 damage. Nice! So right, Hummond, get in here because you're about to switch out. Yeah, you guys are switching out. You're, tag you're tagging out, guys. Get that going. And I need a hull beam again. Yes! That hull beam is just power! Uh, we took a little bit of damage there, but I think considering what we were fighting, we did fantastically well. All to do with having the extra crew. So, uh, Robin, you're in there. Beth needs hearing. Gail needs hearing. Anders needs hearing. Good old Rocky don't. Anders, you're my shields guy. Yeah. Alright, alright, Gail, move back up there. Beth. I feel like her name should be like. Because she's a slug. What did I. Oh, yeah. I was, just, I was just about to say, when did I get level 2 shields? That doesn't sound right. And we are gonna jump. Mmm, Rebel Control. Yeah. And you know what? I'm going to leave this episode here for now, guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Let's just see. There's no shop. So we're going to have to leave it on a cliffhanger, whether I survive or not. Peace out. What's up, guys? BTBS here. Welcome back to FTL C Slug Run. And it looks like we're, uh, we're doing okay. We've not got much whole health, which is a big problem. So we're definitely going to need to jump here, because that gives us three possible locations where there could be uh, a shop uh, or you know just anything oh nice uh, I am one of the 5,237 identical product uh, produced rebel defense turrets trademarked uh, resistance is futile shut down your systems and accept annihilation oh fuck and that's a missile drone right it doesn't do damage it doesn't do actual damage that's a two shot that's a one shot. Our shield's down. Dangerous. Uh, we're going to need to take out those weapons. Because we might just die here. I don't want to die. We've only just started this part of the run. I hate when that happens. Damn it, we missed. Fuck, we're going to die. We're absolutely fucked. Although the weapons are down now. So that's uh, that's a good thing, I suppose. That's a bonus. Uh, the weapons are down, so we might survive a little bit longer. Uh, dual lasers on the shields this time. And we're going to... Hole beam across these four rooms. I really should work on taking out their drones. <laughs> I mean, I really should. And their shields are still up, so let's breach the missile their shields. Breach bomb their shields, sorry. Our oxygen is still down, so Rocky, go in and fix that along with old Shieldy there. And... Let me give a shot to the drones. Yeah, that's the reason I didn't really shoot the drones to start with. Because he's just got so many drones. I'm going to try not to spend any more... Uh, things. Right. Now we can go like this. Mm, damn it. I want to hit the drones and the weapons. Fuck you, you're just a computer. Oh! Yeah, he must have been shooting that room a lot. Talk about concentrated fucking fire. Right. You need healing, there's no doubt about that. You get in there and fix those. 
Right, dual laser. Oh, the cloak came back up, the bastards. Get in there and fix that. Hull beam. Cross those four. And then as soon as it comes up, dual lasers, just to fuck them up. So that was a very, very, very pants shitting fight. Because we basically did die in that fight. Damn. Right, you're alive. You're alive. Uh, you need a bit of hearing. Right, you good? Excellent. Shop! Fuck! No shop! <laughs> well, we've got 113 scrap, so we might as well use it. Let's get better engines going. I'm trying to keep enough scrap so that we're, if we find a shop we can heal, but still keep my ship at maximum chance of living, which is kind of important. Right, they just have a missile, and is that a, is that a missile drone? Attack your ship, can be shut down. It doesn't say what it is. If that's a missile drone, then we've most probably lost. It's a missile drone, and it does damage. Right. So, we need to take out that. And of course we missed both fucking shots. Right, that's down. Dual lasers need to hit. Both of them hit now. And then this can hit those four rooms. And now I can stop wasting my fucking breach bombs. And then the dual lasers can hit again. Right, they are not going to be able to fix that. So we're okay. Whoa! Fuck me! Right, get in there and fix the oxygen. Again. I don't want to die! I've got two health and I don't want to die! I really don't want to die! I want to live! I want to live! Damn it, no shop! <laughs> Come on, I need a shop, I need anything. Oh, you cunts! Oh, and just to rub it in, not only do they have a missile and a bomb, they have a fucking missile drone. I'm fucked, I'm dead now. Right the fuck now! God damn it! Right, well, it looks like you'll be seeing these two parts in one go again. I'm sorry, I'm really, really bad on Captain's Edition. It is such a hard game. But, um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. Let me know what ships you want to see. Peace out.